Hey, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a branded look for any of your slide presentations very, very quickly by creating a custom theme. And I'm using PowerPoint here, PowerPoint 2010, but I'm sure there's something very similar in other programs as well. Now, I have a blank presentation open here and it just has the generic office theme on it. So if I go into the design tab here at the very top, you'll see there are options for all different designs that are built in. I'm going to click on the down arrow and you'll see there are lots of built-in ones that you could use and you can also use them as a starting point or you can just do a generic one and build it from there. I'm going to start with one of the very simple designs that are built in. This one's called Clarity. And you can see there's just a little bit of color, some text, and a line in there. And it has some other slides as well. They'll look a little different depending on what uh, template or what slide you have in there. But let's just start with the basic. And the first thing you want to do before anything else is set up the size of your slide that you're going to want to use as the default. If you go into Page Setup, look at Slide Sized 4, and the in PowerPoint 2010 at least, it automatically gives you this on-screen 4 colon 3. But if you do any YouTube videos with your slides, you're going to want the wide screen. So click the down arrow, click On Screen Show 16.9. That's the wide version. Click OK, and now you'll see it's automatically made it wider. This is important because if you add any graphics and then you try to switch to a different size, it's going to mess up the graphics. So that's important to do first. And now you can go in and customize colors, fonts, and effects, and you can also add any background graphics to through the master slide. On the right here, you'll see there's colors. Click the down arrow. You can choose from any of the built-in ones here, or you can click on Create New Theme Colors, and if you know your logo colors or get a hold of them, you can pick and choose any of these and see the results on the right. So say I want a different background for where it's dark, where there's a dark background. I'll pick something different here that's more like my design. And if, it, if there isn't one there, go into More Colors, and you can find out what the red-green-blue combination is, or look at the standard ones and pick something that's as close as possible to your particular design or your particular logo. Click OK, and you'll see it shows up there. Now, you'll want to play with this because it does affect hyperlinks and other things that show up and you want to make sure it shows up properly everywhere so that it's legible. Then save your design or your theme colors so that you can always access them. Click Save and you'll have those built in there now. Or like I said, you can just use one of the built-in ones. There are a lot of different ones here. I have various custom ones set up, but pick one that you like and then apply it. Now the next thing you want to do is change the fonts to whatever matches, again, your business, your logo. And you can use what's already in here if it's close, or you go to the bottom, click on Create New Theme Fonts, and change the heading font to whatever is in your logo, change the body font or leave it as something simple, and then save it again under the name, and that's set. Now what you want to do is also change the effects. This is just going to apply to any graphs or smart art that you add in there. So it's not a big deal. Save your theme at this point so that you have it ready to go before you add any background graphics. And save it under the width. You can see I've done this once already with demo wide to make sure you know what size this theme is when you're creating new presentations and you want to apply the correct theme. So I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to go in and add some background graphics. You do that by going to View and then Slide Master. And I'm going to click on the very top slide 
and go to insert my logo. Go to insert, click on picture. I'm going to look through my computer and find my logo. You can see I have a folder here that has various sizes and I also have ones that are meant for dark backgrounds as well. So I click on that and I move it. Just drag it over to where you want it on the slide. You can resize it, whatever you want. This will, because I'm putting this into that very top slide here in the Slide Master, it'll show up everywhere. So I'll show you that by clicking on Slide Master and then clicking Close Master View. You'll see it here, but also if I add a new slide, it's going to show up there as well. Any slide that I add, it's going to show up. And if you need to adjust it later, you can always adjust it. So that is the theme. I'm going to go back and save it again so that it's ready to go on another presentation. Save the current theme. I'm going to overwrite the one that was there because I want to keep my new changes. And now let's see what it looks like when we apply it to one of the generic presentations, say from my course on service business success. I'm going to go open that presentation. Here is just a plain uh, bonus one we did that you can use for promotion. I'm going to open that and you can see it comes with just plain, nothing, no design. So I want to go into design and there is my theme. Make sure it's the wide one again. That says demo 2. This is demo 2 wide. And there's my logo showing up on every single slide along with that color band and the fonts. But you may need to do a little tweaking here because as you can see in this particular theme I applied, the text is bigger for the headers. And I could go in and change that in this presentation or I can just play with it a little bit. And let's say make it a little wider so that things show up on the correct line. So I could just do it like that add graphics if I want, and then see through the other slides if there's anything else that I might need to change. For instance, let's look at the last slide. You'll see we put in somewhere where you could put your own e-cover, and you would want to put in a branded e-cover there, and the background graphics have been hidden here so that they don't mess up the look of your slide, so you might need to go in and and add your logo on that one as well or any other design. Maybe change the colors as well. So it's not going to be perfect when you're applying it to another presentation that's already been created, but you know it's pretty close and it saves you a lot of time. Now let me show you how that would work with another presentation that maybe already has some graphics in it that you need to get rid of or replace. I'm going to close this one. I'm not going to save it and I'm going to open up the presentation that came with this particular course. So I'm going to go into my facilitator materials, the slideshow, and open this up. Now again it's generic as you can see and there's also a couple places where you're actually guided to insert your own e-cover, insert your own logo. So let me go into the master slide again. I'm going to go into view and slide master and I need to replace this logo but my design that I'm using, my custom theme, already has the logo in it so if you don't have your custom theme just replace this with the logo. You'll need to be in the very top slide so highlight it, delete it and now it's been taken away from all the slides so I'm going to close the master view that thing is gone and I'm going to now apply my design. I actually have a standard design I use. This is my own custom theme but here's the one that we created before. Let's apply that and see what it looks like. Now you can see that the first slide again you're going to need to tweak because the design uh, didn't line up as precisely but the other slides are pretty straightforward you can see that they all worked out. You could tweak a little. You can see that maybe on the dark slides I'm going to want to go in and change to a different logo because they're these dark backgrounds or even better I'd go into the theme and change the dark backgrounds to something much lighter 
so that there's there isn't this problem. So this will give you a good idea of anything you need to tweak in the future. So you'll go through and do that and in the front first slide maybe it's a matter again of just moving some things around, replacing stuff, maybe move that over to the right, just play with it. But in general you can see that it's going to be very quick to just apply your own design to any of these. And finally my last tip for you is to actually just get someone to create your brand the theme for you. I just outsourced mine. I paid one time and now I can apply that theme to any of my presentation. So for instance if I undo what I just did here with this theme, go back to the plain one, you can see at the top my custom themes show up first and I'll look for the one that has the wide and just apply it and now here's my theme on all the slides. This one doesn't show it because I got rid of the background graphics because my theme interfered with the actual text on the slide. So for instance here I can just right click on the slide if I don't want my graphics to show up there. Click on Format Background, click on Hide Background Graphics and I can either hide them on all or just close it and now it's gone on that one slide so it's flexible that way too. So go to fiverr.com or any freelance site, pay someone one time to create that theme for you and then every time you open up a new presentation, one of these generic ones or something else, you can switch to your new branded theme and you're all set. I literally don't have to think about the theme and the design at all on any of my slide presentations now. I just open it, apply it, done. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions at all.